Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. I hope you all had a great Christmas. And uh, today we're going to be playing some 10 minute games on the road to 2000. We've had a few episodes in this series and we've been hovering around between 15 and 1600. So let's get a Sicilian on the board and see what we can do in this episode. I hope you notice the, the smoke in the background now. It's because uh, it reduces the size of the actual chessboard because before it was like stretching it to the screen and... I think this might improve the quality, but let me know if the smoke's annoying because I can put a different uh, a different background. So I've been playing a lot of five minute games, but I've just been struggling, not gonna lie. So I'm going back to 10 minutes and just really getting back to basics, thinking about the game more. Uh, I think it's the best way to learn as well, playing at slower time controls. So I feel like there's a better move here. Can I? Check, but it just helps him develop. As this striking in the center takes, but then he tempos my queen away. If this, then he can push the pawn. Maybe this. I might not take it, but it's nice to have some pressure on this knight. Maybe continue with something like this. Put a bit of pressure here. So if this he moves his knight, you take you'd have this. We'd have this. Wait, so here, 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 here. Wait, no, the bishop would be there. So this would just be mate. Right, let's try it. Okay. I mean, he blocks the mate threat. And he's not going for this anymore, but I'm happy. That gives him double pawns in the center. And I took a little bit of time thinking that through, but I think you'd agree I've got a decent position out of that. Uh, let's continue that. I don't want to break in the center and I'll allow him to undouble, so I'll probably just do this. Put my pawns on dark squares. And then it'll complement this light square bishop, which can weave in around the, the pawns. Maybe something like that. Although I do like getting my knight here as well to hit this pawn. So what about this hitting the pawn? No, because then he can take this pawn. Uh, Alright, we're just going to have to develop a bit awkwardly here, I think. So I'm happy now I can castle when I want to. Um, yeah, let me know if the smoke in the background is annoying, guys, because I was on this website and there's loads of different uh, backgrounds I can put on, like swaying grass or the ocean waves. <laughs> so let me know what you fancy. Um, okay. Let's just get castled. I have a feeling he's wanting to castle here. That's what this move signals. Okay. So he's saying he's got some pressure on this pawn. Which I can't deny. Pawn is a bit of a problem piece, isn't it? 
Maybe I put my rook here. Seems to solve my problems. And now I don't even need any more defense on the pawn. Okay, so he's threatening all sorts here. This I just take, here, take, here, I take. I guess he could do this. You know what? I don't mind this square for, the, for my queen anyway. Just to save calculating, it hits this, hits this. I don't want to have to keep calculating his revealed attacks. He's going after this square. Which maybe I should have played this at some point to stop. If here, I go here. I mean, I've got this move, I've got this pawn. Here, don't I just do this and I'm fine? Thing. I say I'll go after this pawn, maybe. He doesn't trap my queen. I've always got this escape. But this knight is going to be annoying. I'll give him that. Oh, he goes there. I mean, he can take my bishop by all means. <laughs> it's the worst bishop ever, so. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm not really worried about this move, I'm going to be honest. I'm more worried about this coming in. I might do something like that. Or I could just come back, you know. Hit this pawn again, hit the knight. Encourage him to take my bishop, maybe. So I've used quite a bit of time chatting, but we're all right. Got a lot of positional pressure. Oh my god, that is such a bad move, guys. I know people say bishops are better than knights, but that knight was a five-point knight at least. It was better than both my rooks. It was better. It was, my bishop was not even a pawn here. My bishop was just sat there doing nothing. Unless he had some grand master plan. That was just an abysmal move. Ah. Uh, and this opponent is the same rank as me, so... <laughs> yeah, I'm not, not being mean to him. I'm insulting myself, you know. We're at the same rating level, so... Uh, so he's still got a bit of positional pressure, though. I'm not liking my knights. Uh, maybe I'll go after this pawn. I'm up a couple of pawns, but a bit lower on time. And my position's a bit awkward. I want to get these knights more into the game. Maybe look at playing this. Actually, this is this has got to be super strong right now. Takes, takes, takes. Yeah, I win the queen. Uh... I can go here, threaten that pawn. Probably looks best. Not got as much time now, so I need to be a bit careful. Also, they're threatening this. Still feel that his position's quite aggressive. Oh, okay. I'm just going to need a few consolidating moves after I get this piece off the board, because look at all this pressure he's got. Just try and induce a trade or two, and I'll be happy. So he saw this threat, but he didn't see this threat. And to be fair, I've missed a few of these in my time. <laughs> okay, so he's threatening what, this?
I mean, what? Right there. I think I'm just going to take the piece. Hmm, okay. I like this move, although that's just me, isn't it? <laughs> Uh, uh, can't really stop both threats. Uh, unless I do this. Seems a bit loose, but I'm going to give it a go. Takes, takes, takes. And he's still threatening this. I should be able to come consolidate at that point. He gives up the rook, I'm pretty happy. Now, I just need a couple of moves to just sort of bring my pieces back over and tidy things up. Here's my queen. Okay, let's offer a queen trade. Thinking he had that for a second. It, this looks a bit scary, but I think I'm just about okay. What's he threatening here? Come in, maybe I can hit the. Uh, this is awkward. Don't know what to do. Hitting the rock, but hasn't he got no? Thinking this, and he's. This looks scary, this knight. Not got much time to navigate this, but if I can just release the tension here, then I'm absolutely fine. Just need to get these queens touching. So this looks nice now. Stops that check. Cut, he doesn't have this check. As long as he's not got any checks, I'm alright. And the pressure on this might make him queen trade. Double up my pawns, but I'm pretty happy at that point. Pre-move that. A minute on the clock. This could get tense, guys. I've had my morning coffee. Because I've, I've had some failed recordings where I've just played, like, horrendous. <laughs> just not been able to post them. I'm trying to play five-minute games, but... Yes, yeah, like I said, that's why I'm moving to 10 minutes. Uh, don't really know what he does here apart from trade queens and then get his rook out of there. I'm happy that he's thinking. Is Chile or Philippines? I never remember which. There we go. Philippines. Deji Pox. Wow. I was expecting him to put me under some time pressure. I mean, I saw this, this, and then maybe this, going after the pawns, and it still wasn't, wasn't an easy clean up, you know, with one minute on the clock, maybe that. And then, yeah, it, it peters out, really. Uh, oh, I did have three blunders, though. We should probably look at this. Not my best game. I, I felt uncomfortable all game, but I just managed to sort of hang on to the material that I'd gained. Let's see where I went wrong. I'm sure these moves were fine.
I was happy here with the double pawns, but it was this pawn was an issue. Yeah, it was telling me to push it. And I nabbed that pawn, which I sort of knew it was a bit greedy of me. And yeah, like I said, that was terrible. Applying a lot of pressure that night. Yeah, and that was sort of the final nail in the coffin of material, materially. But positionally, he still had a lot of pressure. Saying he should have taken me, wow. Yeah, and I knew this wasn't strong. But I didn't see the mate. I knew this was bad, but I just wanted to get my knight here. And I knew if I could do that, I'd stabilize, which I did on the next move. Where was the mate? Oh, he did have a check. Oh my god. Didn't I say he didn't have a check? So yeah, check here. I guess that. Here. Uh, and this is awful. <laughs> and a back there. Oh, this is a... What's this called? It's called like a... A minesweeper or something. You just keep... Where do you put it? There? And this would have just been absolutely brutal. Um, back in the corner. Okay. Here. 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 Yeah, and that's just mate. Wow. Yeah, I knew it was tenuous there, guys. But uh, luckily you didn't see that. <laughs> it's just that one moment where he had a chance. To uh, convert that positional edge that he had. Okay. So I've I've recently been looking at the night off, which is that, but actually we're in a, a deep on opening, so Yeah, so against E4 I play the Sicilian and then I'm gonna start trying to play the night off, which is this. Just preventing this bishop coming in, because it does apply a lot of pressure. On this diagonal. So I got a few chess books for Christmas, guys. I got uh, Amateur to IM. I got... Uh, what was this one? 100 End Games You Must Know. And I got Positional Decision Making. So I'm going to be doing book reviews on all three of those. Coming up, because I saw my uh, my highest viewed video was actually a book review. Uh, so yeah, give the people what they want. So I quite like this. So let's do it. Get the bishop out. Oh. That's a weird move. <laughs> what is going on? Isn't this a theme? I don't know if it's for the black pieces, but I've definitely seen something where you go like this and get the open rook and definitely a thing in some positions. I'm just not sure about this position. <laughs> so we're gonna have we're gonna probably castle queen side. Something like this. This. Castle. Ooh, he doesn't want to go for it, okay. Uh Let's encourage him to go for it since we've already sort of messed our structure up. On the king's side. Also just threatening this to really expand. Okay, let's go guys. So let's do this. If we go here, 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 then we get... This becomes a horrible island, and I'd say less of an asset and more of a liability at that point. I don't really like this. How else do we get the the bishop out? Maybe we just play one move up. Or go straight for this. Let's just get another piece out first. But you know what is strong? That moves a pretty strong pin, because I've got no light square bishop to back the knight up. I go here, so I'm just going to play a slower move for now. Allow me to do this with confidence. OK, 
Okay, that light square bishop's looking pretty strong. Just gotta be gotta be aware of that. So I like this now. Going after this, trying to shut down this bishop's activity and threatening this. Take, take. I need to back this square up one more time. Maybe with a move like this. Not gonna lie, I didn't see that. Um He's just threatening this, so I need to play probably that. Also defends this square. Although if here, here, here. Oof, I feel like he's getting compensation for that bishop with them two pawns. Didn't go for it, okay. I'm relieved. I can hit the queen. Let me jump in like that. Ooh. I mean, this looks good. Just both here, here. Oh, actually, this is good because the queen protects. Okay, I'm feeling pretty good about my position now, guys. Because if here, here, here. Um, you know what I like? This, this. Trying to get rid of that bishop. And if I can chop it, then I'm just going to mate him. I'll be aware of this pin. Okay, so he's going after his own attack. Uh, so if I go here, I guess he goes like this. I go here. I'm still threatening mate. Let's go for this. Takes. I don't really want to take because then he he gets his queen in. with check then I just go back here and then up here so maybe I do take it maybe I, don't, maybe I should have taken it before he's having a good think about my th threat now Yeah, I've got a few different series out on my channel. I've done about 30 odd videos, so let me know which which air series you prefer, guys. If here, check. I just go back. So I'm just gonna take it. Call his bluff. I don't believe you. You can take this actually, but then I just I just win. He takes me, I can go here defending that. I can go check, but I just took away and it's fine. I'm just threatening mate. I guess he's gonna try to play this at some point. Um So now this just looks super strong. It's just check for checks. Here, then just here. And I've got some revealed attacks as well. So yeah, let's let's try shatter this structure. See how dangerous that, that idea was early on. Gave up my bishop for the knight, but in return for this open file. I think I took here on uh, g4. I'd be very interested to see what the engine says, see if that is the best move. That that idea early on, where I opened up the file. <clears throat> Excuse me. 
Can you understand my accent, by the way, guys? I try and I've got a bit of a English accent, but try and turn it down. <laughs> so he, uh, what's he, what's his threat? I don't really know. I'm not worried. Let's do this. So if check. Check here, here, you know what might be stronger, just this. What about this, he just takes with that pawn. Yeah, I think this, how do you stop that? I don't know. Check, I just go here. Yeah, I think we're definitely winning. Just trying to think. He'd need a couple of moves to do anything. Here, here, and then maybe try bringing the knight. So now, if here, I don't have this move. So if here, here, and then I guess here, here, and he's got nothing. Let's just double check this though. Oh, actually, he's got this straight in, but then I still go here. And he goes here, and I still took up here, and he's got no more checks. So I'm going to go for this. Again, I'm calling his bluff. Not going to lie, guys, I didn't see this. Oh no. Oh no. Um, but actually, if this here, he's got no more checks. Or if this here, you know, he can take the rook, but I mean, it's mate, so. Okay. So if here, he can go back and repeat. If here, there's no more checks. Here, nothing. Nothing is check, so this is fine. I think. And I don't know how he stops, mate. Yeah. GG, man. Have a look at that. There are blunders. I don't know if it's going to let me analyze because we just did one. I only get one a day on my uh, non-premium account. But I do think that this was a pretty snazzy idea, this pawn move here. Let's see what the analysis says when he takes. There's White's winning. Okay, so it's not by the book good, but there's definitely, like, as we saw, there's, there's definitely some compensation to be had. The white's still better here. But see where I think the game changed is where I managed to push this pawn. I think we might see. Uh, the evil still says white's good. Here I thought I was winning. Yes. The evil changes a bit there. And I think probably I should have taken. Uh, I should have gone here, here, and here. And actually, I think this was fine. And then, after whatever he does, just continue with the plan. Oh, I don't know, the evils. Maybe what I did was good. Just getting the bishop there.
And then, yeah, this was crushing. Yeah. Okay. Let's get into another game. Still recording, yeah. <laughs> okay, so I've been playing some Queen's Gambit recently. Not at this level, admittedly. I've been playing it in Bullet. <laughs> so let's see how we fare. I have also done a course, or a bit of John Bartholomew's course on it, so... Do we go straight for this? Yeah. Bishop out, and I just protect with a knight. But I might do that. No, I think... Generally, I don't think it matters which knight you play out at this point. Defend the pawn. Maybe put three pawns in the centre. Yeah, let's go for it. Quite like this plan of just trading the bishop. Assuming he's going to castle here. On the king's side. So positionally, if we play this, this, this. Um, now I like leaving the tension in the centre. Uh, where do we put this? I think put this in the center, just a bit of extra protection. Okay, so he's looking like he's going to castle. Let's prepare this idea. Could always, you know, just go for it. My queen side looks a tiny bit exposed, but I think it's okay. If here, here, and if here, here. I'm just going to go forward with this plan. Okay. I'm defending this enough. Question is, do we push this pawn? I'd like to close the center. I don't want him having any counter attacking opportunities if I do think about. Wow. We're giving up the rook. But he takes. No, this isn't right. Because if I take. Then he takes. Then I take his queen. Right? There's no checks. Let's do it. Yeah. Okay, so I just won a... What did I do? I just won a whole rook. <laughs> yeah, he realized he was wrong. So now I'm very happy with the queen trade. And also this forces, would be f pretty forcing with this idea. Uh, just make sure he's not got any checks and then I'm very happy to trade queens in this position. We have got a lot of activity, we might be able to have a big attack there. but Happy to win the pawn. My king was a bit exposed, so. Yeah, so let's play this end game out. We just up a whole rook. Which side do we castle? Eh. These look a bit loose, so I wouldn't mind just improving my position by maybe bringing this knight back to safety. Or... So what's he got? How do we really stifle him even more? I think if he moves the knight, I think if this pawn wasn't protected by the knight, I think this might be even good. Just destroying his structure, you know. He goes straight after the knight. What about this? If this... This? I think we just bring it back. Do we? Hey, this looks good though, doesn't it? Yeah, let's dive in. Um, so I'm very happy with any trades at this point. This just looks annoying for him to deal with. 
Oh, he takes with a pawn. That's... Okay, so he's giving himself an open file, trying to attack down it, but... Doesn't seem great. So if I go here now, I'm not really getting out. So actually, I think I'm just going to go back. Reroute. He takes the open file, I'm just going to shut everything down. Keep things simple. Get castled, centralize my rooks, and we should have a nice, easy game. Yes, with this new format, uh, with smoke in the background and stuff. Um, yeah, you don't see the ads on the right-hand side of chess.com. That was one of the main reasons I did it. So he's stopping me rerouting my knight, which is pretty good. But I can castle, which would allow me to reroute. Also protecting this pawn. Uh, let's do it. I'll centralize this rook. Let's pin this knight. Bring the rook into the center. And now with less hanging pieces, all our pieces are just protecting each other. We don't really have too much to think about. And there should be very few tactics for him to even have a chance of getting back into the game. Okay. He's unpinning his knight. And now something like this looks good. Also this, just centralizing my knight a little bit. It's not really got any future here. What's he threatening? Let's just bring my knight back. Very happy to do this trade. I think he's going to try and jump in, maybe cause some problems. Yeah. So what can he do now? Nothing. <laughs> All right. So let's jump here. Can remove this defender. This knight will no longer have this nice outpost square. Okay, I'm very happy to take this pawn off the board. A pretty annoying pawn. What's he going to do? Maybe take... I'm just going to take this. I think if take, I can just go here. Yeah, he's got a pawn out of it. but but Now this looks strong. Attacking the pinned piece. Also with <laughs> giving check at the same time. That just wins. Okay. He probably shouldn't trade when he's losing, but I, I think this guy could probably resign at this point. But it's slightly disrespected. <laughs> he's playing on playing for the win at this point uh, I mean this check looks good grab this bad boy I don't know why my laptop's being so glitchy apologies Some crazy moves, you know. Uh, let's just bring the rook to maybe here. Stop his progress. I'll just push the pawn. He 
grab this now. It might be a little bit greedy, but let's do it. Didn't realize that was checkmate, guys. Not going to lie, but pretty sleek way to do it. Let's have a look. How many blunders then? That's three wins. Um, normally I play about four games and I, I'll win the first couple and then I'll lose the last couple. I'm going to leave it there. I was feeling a bit bad about my chess. Not going to lie. <laughs> I've been playing some five minute games and getting absolutely destroyed. But I've been playing chess a few months now and I think the best way to learn is playing longer time controls. Or so I've heard from people who are actually <laughs> actually good at chess. So I'm gonna I'm gonna take the win today. I'll I'll look forward to seeing you next time, guys. And uh yeah, peace out. <laughs>